Hello animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful MyMeter tips within 5 minutes. Today I'll show you how you can stop clipping in your animations. Now, what is clipping? Clipping occurs when two objects collide in an unnatural way resulting in one going through the other. Now it doesn't happen in real life and it shouldn't happen in your animation. So how do you prevent it? Long story short, just don't let the objects go through each other, that's all. There is no special mechanic, it's just something you have to do manually. I'm using my walk cycle as a good example because there isn't much clipping going on in here, so let's break it down. So instead of only having two keyframes for the legs, you instead make the motion more complex. Not only are the legs here sliding, but as he steps down, the leg goes into the ground. Because if something is at an angle and it turns around, it's gonna drop lower down. Hence why you should fix it so the leg isn't in the floor. However, that's difficult because the bottom is tilted, which requires us to add another keyframe. So the bottom is aligned and the leg doesn't slide. However, that also happens in between those frames. It happens twice, in the beginning as well as on the start. So what I've done in my walk cycle is make the first contact point where both the corners are touching the ground. The next contact point is where the corner trips over and there's an the entire face touching the ground now. Of course the leg needs to be lifted, so the third contact point is yet again the face. The fourth one, the face trips over onto the corner and there there's only the corner. And the fifth one is once again two corners touching. I have done this so the legs never have a chance to go beneath the floor. Anytime the contact changes, whether if it's a corner or the face touching the ground, because if I delete just this row of keyframes, you can see it automatically slides. Because you're dealing with rotation, which messes with the position of the final point. It's the same with two objects colliding. You should never let this happen. Unless the object is made of gelatin, but that's another story. The best way to avoid clipping is to put in the manual effort to never allow the two objects to go into each other. If you have to do it frame by frame, then you have to do it frame by frame. There's no way around it. It's simply effort and time. But a tip that could help you, and this is a bizarre example, is make a keyframe on the first contact point when neither of the objects are affected. The second contact point, for an example, it's not the corner touching, but the face. The third keyframe is once again where the contact point changes again. Because although this example makes no sense, and Steve should probably react as well, he got a freaking boulder on his head. There is no clipping here whatsoever. The character feels solid. So to sum up the video, it's a lot of manual work and contact points. Now that is all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. I want to ask you to drop a like on this video and hit the bell for more content. And with that on the side, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay sharp.